Stefan Schneeberger, Medical University of Innsbruck, Center for Operative Medicine, and uh, Johns Hopkins Medical University in Baltimore, and you're also the head of the ASOT CTA Task Force. Welcome this morning. When do you think composite tissue allotransplantation will become normal clinical practice? Well, I think CTA is a valid alternative to prosthesis at this point. Um, until it becomes sort of standard of care, I think there's two obstacles that need to be overcome. And one is the overall amount of immunosuppression that needs to be at least reduced, if not uh, the tolerance has to be induced to make this standard of care. And the other thing is more um, an acceptance level. Uh, not so much patient acceptance level, they actually like this uh, new technique uh, and modality a lot, but more on the uh, side of plastic and reconstructive surgeons, because it's a new modality and a new technique, they're very hesitant to uh, accept this n new technique as an alternative. Having said that though, for example in the United States now to uh, military personnel, it is offered as a standard alternative to prosthesis, so I think we're on the way, and if you ask me about a time frame, I would uh, consider this to happen within the next decade. Why should delegates attend the CTA specialty update session at the ASOT Congress in Glasgow? Well, for uh, you know, many, many reasons. Uh, two two uh, important ones would be that, first, um, that's something that would sooner or later come to their center. So sooner or later they will be um, confronted with this new technique, with this new type of transplants, and then it will be helpful to have some background information. Uh, and the other thing is that although it's different from solid organ transplantation, it's similar in many ways, and it helps to maybe basically understand immunologic processes in transplantation in general a little better. Uh, and you see some of the things that you would not see in solid organ transplantation, but yet it helps to understand uh, some of the mechanisms that we see every day in solid organ transplantation. Stefan Schneeberger, thank you for this interview this morning here in Eagles in Austria.